Hi there, uh, this is Paul Lee Stewart from the Painters and Dockers. We named ourselves the Painters and Dockers because we played where the union guys drank. And the guy that lived next door to the place jumped the fence with an axe and chopped up the mixing desk. And an all in brawl started. Kids were screaming, there was alcohol flying, blood being spilt, and I was up on stage going, I want to do this for the rest of my life. was supposed to play for one night to pay someone's parking fine. I've been in the band now for 30 years. I was a very angry, grieved young chap. My brother was one of the five journalists who was killed with East Timor in 1975. And after the 80s, which I really hit with excess, I um, had to have a liver transplant and I went into the Austin Hospital and uh, a lot of people didn't think they'd ever see me again. And I woke up and there was a little nun at the end of my bed and she said, why are you here, Paulie? And I, I said, I needed a new liver, sister. And she said, I'm going to pray to the big fella and uh, when we get one for you, you have to help the women and kids in East Timor. Is that a deal? And I said, yeah, whatever, sister, no worries. And uh, would you believe next morning after 18, 18 months, the doctors came in and said, Paulie, this is amazing. The perfect fit for you has just arrived. I went and met the sisters and uh, just fell in love with these remarkable women who they're up at 4.30 every morning. They uh, you know, don't put any weight into money. You know, mothers knock on the door and go, there you go, see you, see you next lifetime. And, uh, but the nuns, every time they get a kid, it's like someone's, they've won Tats Lotto and they're just so happy and loving. And now they're my mates. Working with the nuns, you know, they promised a future and they delivered and uh, it's, it's given me a sense of, you know, it's not uh, what, what you get out of life, it's what you put back.